Shame TV East Watch, your host, you know who it is. Peace, people, what's going on? Hope you're having a good morning so far. Um, I'm coming to you guys with this news of Riza Islam, um, who had been jailed recently, the last week or so. Um, actually, him and his mother. Um, name is actually Ronnie Steven. And if you don't um, know already, him, his mother, and a few other people have come under scrutiny lately for their Medi-Cal insurance. Um, it's thought of to be a scam worth $3.8 million scam um, that he's actually being accused of. Um, I first caught wind of this the other day, and you know, on YouTube and social media, tons of things go out. So what I actually heard was um, that he was arrested and he was jailed for this and he was jailed for that. What he was initially jailed for, though, and sentenced five days in jail for with him and his mother was actually contempt of court. Now, he went to court, of course, um, with his mother, like I just stated, but they went in what the um, reporter, Jeffrey Augustine, which is pure propaganda presented by Jeff Augustine. I'm just going to say that outright right now. Like the entire news team that actually covered it, it's pure lies because they were calling him a sovereign citizen. And for anyone who isn't in the know, I often talk about people who bring up status correction, etc., because I know what it means to fight firsthand in court with your life on the line. So I often bring it up to people who've never even done it and are always talking about it. And I'm like, you can't teach something you've never done, especially something like that. You need experience. So anyway, but to bring up the term sovereign citizen, whenever you hear those words together, sovereign and then citizen, know that that's government propaganda. Even the people who, and I'm being honest to them, the people who use status correction, who speak about status correction, um, the individuals who know about it, who know the, um, the frauds that the courts perpetrate every day, with their collusion, et cetera, um, people fight back against it. And more and more people are going to continue to do it. But what the government has done, state, local, federal, what they have done is they've ramped up their propaganda machine, number one, to get you and I to not even look into it and then to look at it as though it's nothing but foolishness and hogwash, though it is not. Most of the things that people talk about when they talk about status correction, those things are true. The judge colludes with the prosecutor. That is illegal. He is not supposed to do that. He's supposed to be, he or she is supposed to be fair and impartial. They're not supposed to be buddy, buddy with police unions and organizations. You're supposed to be fair and impartial to everyone. So the things that they bring up as far as not being able to get a fair trial, all these things, those things are true. Okay, just factually stating those things are true. But when you hear the government say the words sovereign citizen, the people that I'm speaking of do not call themselves sovereign citizens. Some of them call themselves an array of things from Moors to freemen on the land, etc., etc. But one thing they will never, ever, ever call themselves are sovereign citizens because they know that that is an oxymoron. You cannot be sovereign and a citizen at the same time because a citizen is a subject and he is subject to the whims of whoever he is subjected by, i.e. his government. So whenever you hear that, what you have heard, excuse me, what you've heard, and you will continue to hear thrown around with Islam, that is propaganda. Now, I don't know anything about whether or not it's factual this brother is scamming and frauding certain individuals, whether it be government or personal individuals out of $3.8 million. But what I do know is the government is starting off all wrong once again, because if you are trying to prove guilt and attach guilt to someone, first off, you can't throw out slanderous, nonsensical, actual, no fact-based attacks. 
And that is exactly what Jeff Augustine has done for the local news. He's done that for the local and um, state government. Because you cannot be a sovereign and a citizen at the same time. And no one who's ever spoken about status correction, fighting for their own, even people who defend themselves in court have never referred to themselves as sovereign citizens. That is a made up government propaganda tool. Now, getting back to the facts of the case, the brother was actually jailed for contempt. So what it is, is he was basically standing up for himself. And one of the main tactics that the court will do is they'll give you a um, contempt of court charge is what he received or a mental health evaluation, evaluation, meaning you must be, excuse me, meaning you must be mentally crazy or mentally unhealthy or unwell to access for facts and evidence that you that they have to do whatever it is they are attempting to do, which they should have and should be easily and readily available to you to provide to you at a moment's notice. So instead of answering those questions, they tiptoe around those questions because they know they do not have facts or evidence to provide to you or anyone else that they have the authority, legal or lawful, to do anything to you in those courtrooms. So that, again, is a propaganda tool. So the reason I'm doing the video is to let you guys know that the brother has been jailed on felony charges. Well, he's, let's say this. The brother was initially charged a felony, okay, for fraud. He was actually jailed for contempt of court and not the felony charges themselves. So the case number is BA435374, and that's um, Ronnie Steven. And you can look it up yourself and see what you think, but I'm just passing this information on. The brother has been jailed, him and his mother, they have been charged with um, a felony charge of fraud for medical insurance, saying that um, the whole science college, Scientology um, movement has been nothing but a fraud. And that's what the prosecutors are saying in this case. But again, we all know that they don't prosecute people who actually do crimes like murder and fraud in their own communities, and they say nothing about it. So it's just it's 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 hard to to look at him as though he's some sort of criminal. But just passing on information, Rizal Islam was actually jailed for contempt of court. He was actually jailed for contempt of court not necessarily jailed for the felony charges. Shame TV East Watch, peace.